Alright, well, we spoke the other day about doing a new seed starting method, putting one together. This is basically it. Uh, it's just gravel, it's a little tin thing, or aluminum pull pot for now. Basically I'm filling it up, it's just a constant flow. I'm going to put some seeds in this thing, just direct seed and, and see what happens. Um, now this one spot, I've got a pot that's upside down, just to keep as much water as possible from being visible to the sun. And uh, we'll put these in here and and see what happens, and I'll keep you up to date on it. Uh, and you can see, got a pipe running here that uh, that's that's feeding our water. And over here, I just uh, poked a hole in the pan just to drain it out. Um, a little bit out of level, as you can see here. Not a big deal. Um, I'll add a little bit more gravel here so that we don't uh, end up having some algae growth. Other than that, uh, fix and give it a shot and see where we're at. Well, walking into the greenhouse, going to just check up on uh, on our new seedling starting uh, apparatus, which again is just temporary. We're not going to continue to use this metal. Uh, but you'll notice we've got some baby plants. Only one came up in this one. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. I don't even remember what I put in there. And there's one over here that I didn't see earlier. So we've got three pots with stuff coming up. Uh, that I'm seeing right at this moment. Oh, there's something else over here, so that makes four. It's been three days. So, it's September 11th. I guess four days if you count the 8th. Uh, it was late on the 8th when I actually did this. And it's uh, late on the 11th now. So, you see we're getting growth out of it. And pull a pot up to show what's going on underneath. You see we got some fish poo building up down the bottom of that thing, which is good. I see lots of, lots of particulate matter moving through, telling me it is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And also, just a little bit ago, we tested water. Um, our pH has come down to 7.5, which is not where we want it. We'd like to be closer to 7, maybe even below 7. Um, our ammonia is at 0 or just a hair above. Nitrite has dropped to 0 or just a hair above. And our nitrates are showing five parts per million. So we are right where we want to be. Uh, we have fully cycled. We have fish in the system. Uh, not enough fish, but they're there. Uh, and we are probably, we've decided we're going to go with channel cat when the time actually comes. Uh, we'll pull, pull our temp fish uh, and either release them or we may just keep them and, and eat them later. Uh, they're bluegill, so they're, they're good to eat. There's nothing wrong with them. Not seeing any dramatic growth over here. I'm looking at some of my other babies, which they've all gotten larger, but it's not dramatic at the at the moment. Um, so that's something we'll be watching. I came home today and found that uh, this particular grow bed was not. Uh, it wouldn't finish its uh, auto siphon cycle. Um, it got down to the bottom, and I had a little adjustment I had to make to get it back in line. But it's back now, running like it should. Uh, the other two grow beds have been running just exactly as they should. Uh, you can see we still got some work to do. I've got some cleanup to do around here before my wife beats me. Um, but everything looks good. I'm I'm quite tickled with everything. Like I said, uh, we've got garlic right now that's just exploding, which uh, we're a little early planting. But uh, this is a garlic plant, and it's not that old. You can go back in and look at our pictures and videos and see exactly when I planted this stuff. And it's just going nuts. And uh, see, I'm going to dig in here. It's just our first time growing garlic in an aquaponics system and see just exactly what the root system on this garlic may be doing down here. Oh, yeah, very nice. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That's just beautiful. Exactly what we want to see. So, over the course of the next couple of days, I will be probably going to add some worms to the system, which there's already been a few added. They're down in there somewhere. Um, and then we'll go from there. Now, with this lava rock, one thing I have noticed is uh, my tubers, any root plants, are not, not really doing too well. But then again, the system is very young. You can see that we've got a little radish trying to form up, but it's not going to do much, I don't think. We'll see. I'm going to let them run just to see what they do. I'm not going to pull them out for sure. Uh, I'm not going to waste the plant. 
But uh, all in all, I'm very excited about our seed starting pot, which is over there in the far grow bed. We've got plants after just a couple of days, and uh, if it continues to work as we think, we will build something permanent, get it off that grow bed, and either allow it to drain into the grow bed to actually uh, do our, our filling of that grow bed, or we'll let it drain directly back into our pump tank uh, in the future. We haven't decided yet, but that's about it for this update, and I'm going to go get this thing uploaded for you guys, and please make sure you share this video. Uh, on YouTube and you know to any of your friends that are interested in aquaponics as well as uh, click share on Facebook and share that with your friends there. You never know who it's going to spark interest in and they're going to change from growing the old fashioned way or not growing at all to growing aquaponically. Okay just to do a quick update on the seed starting method that we're trying. Uh, I showed this in a previous video talking about auto siphons but I wanted to hit it again just continue with the series. In a real nice stand of lettuce here, and and I don't know if this is an Italian lettuce mixture that I have or if it is uh, Mexican lettuce. I think that's how it's said. Uh, we got some other stuff coming up. The seeds up here and here, over here, and this stuff is mixed. I don't know what all's in there. I just grabbed seeds, threw them in, just to see what would happen. And as they come on out and start giving us some more leaves, uh, since this lettuce is, we'll start to figure out what they are exactly and. Uh, then I'll plant accordingly. Uh, there's nothing big in there um, that, I, that I recall. It's all small plants, leafy greens. And we'll see what it does. I'm really looking forward to seeing if our roots will come out of the bottom of these pots uh, in, a, in a short time. That way we can actually get them in the grow beds. And that's what I'm waiting for is to see root come out of the bottom of these. And then I'll say, okay, I've got enough going on here. I can now safely pull them out of this gravel and get them into our pots. Alright, get a little bit of this gravel out, and I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but there's lots of stuff floating around here, lots of fish poo and what have you, which is perfect, it's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, I've got lots of that getting into the system. Um, just to let you know where I'm at on my levels, uh, ammonia is next to nothing, nitrite next to nothing, and my nitrates are about 10 parts per million. Uh, so we're in really good shape on that. We're feeding our plants good. Not having to add any foliar sprays, although I did add some iron two days ago. Uh, to lead it iron just to bring us up in, in our level. And I will do an update on what irons you should use at, at certain pH levels later uh, and add that to YouTube. Uh, there's, there's several different irons. One is totally useless. Uh, it, the, the, the plants will not pick it up at all no matter what your pH level is, and then there's two more. One is the chelated iron I have, and then another one is an EDDA chelated iron, and that is the one you actually want to use if possible. Uh, it will be picked up by the plants at the highest and lowest levels of pH. So uh, I'll do a little bit on that and get that up so you guys can look at it. And just to look around, um, we've got some dead spots on our leaves where I sprayed some... Uh, organic pesticide the other day and, and I got a little overzealous with my orange oil put a little bit too much in it I didn't burn the leaves which uh, can happen and I don't know if you're seeing it or not but I've got bees all over this grow bed honeybees which here in East Texas where I live we've got lots of honeybees a lot of the local farmers have gotten away from pesticides so we've stopped killing our bees this pipe out of the way just to show you what's going on now one thing we're getting ready to do is on this wall, this is our north wall, we're going to put a trellis on the inside of this wall and hold it off the inside of the wall about an inch and a half, maybe a little more, but we're also going to line this inside wall with uh, plastic. And the reason we're doing that is for insulation. So we'll have a layer on the inside, and then we'll also have a layer on the outside and that will create a dead air space and that dead air space is huge when it comes to creating an, an insulation barrier an R factor between the outside wall and inside wall alright so that's it for the update again I got overzealous with my uh, spray and you can see I'll try to show you some close up see that leaf there has got some damage some burning same thing here on this great big spaghetti squash leaf actually that's yellow crookneck squash 
my spaghetti squash is back over in this other grow bed. Uh, and I've got cucumbers out here now that have come up really well in that area. Some more yellow crook neck. Yellow crook neck. I believe these two are cantaloupe. We'll see as they mature more. I had to pull these early, if you'll remember, because I went anaerobic in my seed pots, and that's why we're start we're trying the new seed starting media in a grow bed, which will be moved outside of the grow bed at some point, uh, hopefully this evening, and use something different than that metal and get it set up more on a permanent uh, uh, fixture instead of just laying in the grow bed. That way, I've got a place to put more plants as they. Uh, get up size and, and are ready to go in the grow beds. Anyway, that's it for this update. Please share this video. Um, subscribe to us. That way you get our updates immediately when I upload a new video. And uh, if, if you hadn't already found us on Facebook, just uh, go to Facebook.com, type in True Aquaponics in the search, and it'll bring up our group. Feel free to join us. We'd love to have you, whether you're a newbie or uh, really have your stuff together and have something to add and contribute. Thank you much.